I want to talk about the public goods game, which is a kind of experiment in which we're trying to understand um, the characteristics of and behavior of people in uh, who behave in a public goods interaction where the benefits are non-excludable and non-rival as we'll look at in a little while. The way we'll look at this is using a, a game called a voluntary contribution mechanism. And this kind of experiment is often abbreviated to being a VCM, voluntary contribution mechanism in the literature, and sometimes a public goods game is called a PGG. Now when we're thinking about this, we want to think about the behavior of players in a game where they're choosing between contributing or not contributing to something which can act like a public good. So to do that, we're going to think about a payoff um, structure for players in the game where they receive a payoff, which we'll label pi i, and the pi i for an individual player is going to be equal to the endowment that they receive from the experimenter, y i, minus what they contribute to the public good, c i, plus m, a multiplier, which is multiplied by the contributions of all players, i equals 1 through n, to the public good. So over here, we see all the contributions to public good. So if there are four players, for example, it will be the contributions of each player, one, two, three, and four, to the public good. So then how does that payoff structure work? Each player starts off with um, an endowment, yi, for example, $10. They can then choose to contribute some um, amount of those $10 to the public good. And so then that contribution, CI, would be subtracted from their endowment. So for example, if I had $10 as my endowment, and I then contributed $5, I would have 10 minus 5, that's what we have over here, and then I would be left with $5, but then $5 would be added to the public good. If other people then contribute to the public good, we take that entire sum of what everyone contributed, say 5, 5, 5, and 5, if everyone contributed something, that would be $20, and then we'd multiply that by M to find out what my total payoff would be. Now when we think about this, we want to understand what M is. M is what we call a multiplier, and it is often also called the MPCR, or marginal per capita return. The marginal per capita return is called that because it's suggesting the return that I receive, that each player receives, in fact, hence per capita, um, at the margin for each marginal dollar that is contributed to the public good. Now remember, the characteristics of a public good are that it is going to be non-excludable and it's going to be to non rival. So it has to be non-excludable and non-rival. Now what do these two things mean? If something is non-excludable, it means that a player in the game can't stop anyone else from accessing the public good. Now notice the structure of this payoff function here. If I am player one and I don't contribute anything, no other player can stop me from accessing the benefits of what they have contributed to the public good. I simply get access to it as a consequence of playing. Therefore the benefits are non-excludable. The benefits are also non-rival because um, a benefit is non-rival if um, the benefits do not change or do not decrease as more players consume them. So for example here, um, if I do not contribute again to the public good but everyone else has contributed some amount of money, the fact that I'm also accessing that money is not decreasing the benefits that other people receive. Now recall here that um, something being non-rival doesn't mean that if I also contributed, other people wouldn't also benefit from what I contribute. All it's saying is that if I did not contribute, um, I can also benefit from that and the benefits remain the same. I can also benefit, it's non-excludable, and the benefits remain the same, it's non-rival. Okay, so it's non-excludable and non-rival in terms of the benefits here of the public good. 
We're going to return to this power function in a moment, and we're going to think about why this is a social dilemma in a second when we structure this with a 2 by 2 payoff matrix.